My name is Karen Mullins. I live here in the Tampa Bay area of Florida. I'm 42 years old and I have been suffering with fibromyalgia for 11 years now. I was actually in a very bad car accident, which is what triggered the fibromyalgia, tore a couple of discs, but my biggest problem has, has been the issue with the fibro. We've struggled for years uh, trying to manage it with medication. Um, I honestly think I've been fairly lucky with that, but there's always been so many limitations, so many pills, and what concerned me is the amount of medication that I was having to take to manage my fibromyalgia and questions about what that would do to my body long term. So I was very excited when Dr. Hanna here at Florida Spine Institute suggested a new treatment that he was looking to investigate and try out. I was one of the first patients that was in Dr. Hanna's trial and we did my first ketamine injection in October of 2013. When he told me about the trial, um, of course, I wanted to know, you know, how, how was everyone else's treatments? You know, is it going good? Are you getting good results? And he was very good about making sure that I didn't get any information whatsoever. And I really kind of went into it with an attitude of, well, you know, I don't know if this is gonna work. If it doesn't, I'm no better, you know, no worse off. Um, but if it does, hey, great. Um, and actually was really very lucky. Um, from what I understand, my ketamine trial uh, went very well. Um, one, of the, one of the better results that they've gotten. Um, we did five days of treatment during the first IV ketamine series, uh, which meant I came in every day and was here for about four to six hours uh, getting, getting the ketamine. I don't really remember much because I was asleep. Um, it was a little bit boring for my husband, but <laughs> he read. <laughs> um, we didn't have any issues. Uh, I did wake up once during the treatment and they, we're a little concerned, but I just needed to go to the bathroom and went back to sleep, no big deal. Before I did the ketamine trial, I was taking multiple medications all day long, every two hours. I took hydrocodone, muscle relaxers. I had multiple medications for the fibromyalgia itself. Um, during the ketamine trial, of course, most of the day I was knocked out of sleep. So it was actually pretty easy for me to completely wean off the hydrocodone uh, by the end of the week. Um, so as of that first weekend, I haven't taken any narcotics since 2013, and that's pretty awesome. Um, we've changed some things up. I do take a painkiller still, but it's, um, a very mild dose and I'm not having to take it all the time. The first ketamine series that I did was a five-day treatment and that was the initial trial. I did that in October of 2013. I had a booster series in May of 2014 and today I'm getting my second booster and it is May, April? April of 2015. Um, so I've been able to go quite a long time in between the boosters and and hopefully today we'll be able to reduce some more of my medications. Before the ketamine, I would say that I lived at pretty much a constant five pain level. Um, that of course is if I wasn't doing anything anytime I wanted to you know, do something on my computer or God forbid dig a hole in the garden. Um, I could pretty well expect that I was probably going to be mm, at least a seven or an eight for several days. Um, and that of course is with medication. After the ketamine, we were able to sort of reduce that down 
to initially had read it about maybe a two, um, and that of course is with a reduction of medication. Over time, uh, between the trial and when I went for my first booster, that of course started to creep up a little bit, and um, I was sort of living more at a three, three and a half. Still ultimately way better than I was before. I really enjoyed working with Dr. Hanna. Um, I've started, I started at Florida Spine Institute in 2003 and switched over to Dr. Hanna probably about 2012. Um, he's been a real joy to work with. He's just such a very caring person. Um, he really kind of listens and responds to the needs that you have and your concerns. Um, he's obviously an incredible teacher because lots of fellows that are here at Porter Spine Institute have always said amazing things about him as well. Um, I am so glad that he is my doctor because he's the, one of the few doctors that not only recognizes that fibromyalgia is a disease and is something that we need to treat, but he looks at it as something that can be addressed and can be treated. Dr. Hanna is looking for new ways to, to deal with it, new ways to help make my life better every day. I'm really glad that Dr. Hanna came up with the idea to do the ketamine trial. I know research shows that it has worked for rheumatoid arthritis, and as he told me, if it works for that, why not fibro? And obviously, the results that he's seeing, the answer is yes, it works for fibromyalgia. I'm very glad to be a patient of Dr. Hanna's.